Today's lesson is about the classification of reptiles. But before we go further, let's discuss what are vertebrates and how they're classified. Vertebrates are animals with backbones, like these. Vertebrates are divided into five common classes. These classes are fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Now you know vertebrates, let's move on. Here are some fun facts about reptiles that we can keep in mind which will help us describe and classify animals that belong to the reptile class. Number 1. Reptiles are the longest lived species on the planet. Number 2. Their bodies are covered with scales or shells. Number three, most reptiles can't chew their food, so instead they will tear it down or swallow it whole. Number four, they live on the ground or in the water. Number five, as cold-blooded animals, reptiles rely on Thermal heat sources. Number six. As a rule, reptiles lay eggs so they are born from eggs. Here are some examples of reptiles. Snake. Turtle. Crocodile. And iguana. Snakes are elongated, limbless reptiles. They are masters of disguise, skilled hunters, and champion eaters. All snakes are carnivores. Their diet includes mice, birds, frogs, and lizards. Turtles are reptiles with special shells developed mainly from their ribs. Turtles eat a variety of plants and animals including vegetables, fish, aquatic plants, and flowers. Crocodiles are large semi-aquatic reptiles that have either broad or slender snouts. In the wild, crocodiles eat insects, fish, crustaceans, birds, and mammals. Iguanas are large lizards. They possess a dewlap and a row of elongated scales running from the midline of their necks down to their tails. Iguanas are herbivores feeding on plants, vegetables, flowers, and fruits. Let's review! Here are some basic facts about reptiles. They are the longest lived species. Their body is covered with scales or shells. They cannot chew. They live on the ground or in the water. 
They are cold-blooded animals. They are born from eggs. Snake, turtle, crocodile, and iguana are some examples of reptile. Now that you know some examples of reptile, it's your turn to identify them. Let's do this!
Good job! I hope that you learned something today. See you on our next episode!